All right, everybody, my next guest is a Pulitzer Prize-winning film critic and the co-host of the TV show Ebert and Roper. He also has a new book out entitled The Great Movies 2. Please welcome Roger Ebert. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by. She is so good. She is so good. That movie is the best movie of the year. Oh, wow, though. Yeah. It's, and I Hillary saw it the other day. It's Frank, incredible. She's but... going to win as Best Actress. In you my think opinion. she's going to yes, win? Yes, I think so. Wow. That's incredible. Oh, well, you heard it here. It is so. And what's powerful. your batting? What's your batting average? I mean, are you wrong like eighty percent of the time? No, or? I'm usually right. I was right about uh, Charlize Theron. I was right about Halle Berry. I'm usually right. Okay. Okay. No. Wow. All and right. You put me I'm, in my place. And when I'm wrong, it's because the Academy wasn't right. Right. <laughs> you, didn't you pick Polly Shore for Biodome? I'm pretty sure. Um, we'll get into that later. Um, I'd have to go back and look at the files. Yeah, I'm pretty you know. sure you did. You but said, she it, is, you she said is, it was sublime. Uh, she is so good, and that movie reaches your heart. Yeah. Which oh, is yeah. why I think she'll win, because people vote for the one that really kind of touches them the most deeply. There's no way to, to, to walk out of the, after seeing that movie no. and, and feel like, eh, yeah, another movie. It's just not one of those experiences. People have come up to me on the street. They talk about how deeply it affected them. Yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Do you talk to them about it? Do you consult? <laughs> <laughs> or do you say, like, buzz off? I have office I'm hours. Ebert. I give me you a thumbs down. Now, what do you... All those hours, Tuesday and Thursday, they right. come in and I try to work with them on it, yeah. I'm curious, what do you think was the worst film of the year, in your opinion? Uh, a tie between Troy and Alexander with a slight edge to Alexander, I believe. Right. Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. I kind of like Troy. Alexander was... Uh, was... Well, you know, he was supposed to be gay. Yeah. And so... Colin Farrell, the Alexander, yeah. yeah. You know, the, he has these significant glances he exchanges with this guy, and then once they hug, and then he has this torrid sex scene with Rosario Dawson that lasts for about 25 minutes, yeah. every one of which I enjoyed. Yeah. And, I, had, uh, I had no complaints yeah. about that scene. You Rosario, didn't? No, Rosario Dawson looked incredible, I What thought. did you notice about her? Well, I think we all noticed that... What, what was that? Well, come on. Well, come on. Her breasts are yep, huge. They're big. They're big. They're big oh, and they're perfect. She is perfect. She is a beautiful woman. I saw the movie yeah. in 3D. I broke my neck. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... <laughs> I'm going to move it along I a little bit. Her, I interviewed her at the Sundance Film Festival. You did. And the amazing thing is she's smart. Oh. I mean, maybe that's the sound wrong. No, it doesn't sound no, very good to bad. say it that way. She is smart. In addition to being she's beautiful, smart, she's very smart. And she's very political, and she's very articulate, and she is gorgeous. Well, you should know, sometimes attractive and smart go together, baby. Now, let's move on. Uh, you... What did you say? Thank you. You were a... No, 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 let's do that. That's called pity applause in my business. Let's talk about your past. Okay. In the 70s, you reviewed... Porn movies. You were you reviewed uh, pornography, and you would write you would write in depth reviews. Okay, okay. Well, did you or didn't you? I have been the film critic of the Chicago Sun Times since 1967. Yeah. And in the 70s, porn movies opened in real theaters. Right. And they were advertised. Yes. And couples went to see them. Yes, yes. There's a documentary out called Inside Deep Throat, which is about that phenomenon. Yes, yes. This is nothing to be ashamed no. of. I don't know why you're getting so and defensive. I, well, uh, I, because it sounds like I work for Hustler or no, something. No, 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 you know. no, no. This was legitimate. But what did you... Here's my question. As a reviewer, what did you look for in porn? What... What... Conan, if it's a porn movie, you don't have to look for it. Right, right. Well, it's okay. Kind of well, I'm curious. Say, yeah. Well, oh, oh, are you looking at physical attributes, or are you looking at storyline? Like, I did when he came and delivered the pizza, no. I didn't buy it. <laughs> there didn't seem to be any... There was no need for a pizza. No pizza was ever ordered. Somebody once said... These are all legitimate somebody, questions. Somebody, you're, you're, you're right on the right trail here. You're yes. very close. You're a better film critic than you know. Somebody once said... You know it's a bad porn movie if they spend too much time delivering pizza. Right, right. Yeah. Or there's or too much... Or getting in and out of doors and getting in and yes, out of cars. Yes, I hate porn that you has a plot. You don't want them to get out, go through yeah, any doors, exactly. get into any cars, right. eat any pizza, right. take any telephone calls, right. nothing. You like them to get it on and get it on fast, is what you're saying. Um, is that fair? Is that fair? I think I, I'll let you speak for yourself. Okay, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you use the thumbs-up scale back then, or was there another... No, uh, but we were still using stars in those days.
You should be ashamed of yourself, young man. You're never coming back, are you? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever leave. I'm having a great time. Now, no, um, what I, I mean, it was funny because there were couples there, and they would right. laugh at anything. I mean, if you saw Deep Throat today, you right. would not think it was a very good movie. Right, right. And it wasn't. Right. And there were some jokes in it that were really bad. Right. But because couples were there together, and it was and kind they were of... nervous. It was nervous, and it was kind of a highly charged atmosphere, and people would laugh at anything just right. because of their, their feelings. Oh, for a crowd like that. Uh, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't erotic to me, at right, least. Right, right. No. Um, the only erotic X-rated movie I ever saw was Emmanuel. What, I don't. I didn't see Emmanuel. Emmanuel, the classic. No, yeah. well, well, the airplane scene. What's the air, What happens on the airplane scene? Well, they kind of. I don't think I'd better tell you. <laughs> I'm guessing it involves sex. Uh, <laughs> Are they, do they join the Mile High Club? Yes, and, they do. Yes. Oh, okay. They're all right. Only, they're deuce, they're only the deuce paying members. He's the president. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. I got to check that out immediately. I'm not just a member. I'm the president. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway. Right. All right, well, but go. No, I just reviewed a few porno movies. I mean, you make it sound like I have some. Kind I didn't of say anything. You are. Sleazy past. The last time. You're the last nervous time, and sweating the, and. Uh, the last time I was on the show. You seem unhinged, Ebert. What's wrong? The last time I was on the show, you had me sitting next to Doris Wishman, a 78 year old pornographer. Yeah, that's the. You know what, was, what get this kind of show was. I mean, you know, this is what yeah, we do here. I supposed to, and then she was telling you what her next movie was about, and you were blushing. This is a porn theme to this show that yes, I've been working on for the last yes. 11 yes. years. Yes. All right, no, don't applaud that. No. Oh, that's well, actually, you should apply. Yeah, yeah. Um, Lee Wen, I want. I have a question for you before we go, which is, uh, I'm curious. Scorsese. Yes. Scorsese has never won an Oscar. Is and he going to get it this year? Do you think? You know, he could. Now, the Directors Guild has already given its award to Clint Eastwood, and right. usually that's a predictor that he'll win the Oscar. But what's your? You have to make your prediction well, here on television. The safe prediction is Clint Eastwood. But on the other hand, they can say, well, I can vote for it for Best Picture. I can vote for Clint for Best Actor, where right. he's never won. Right. So why not vote for best director for Martin Scorsese, who yes. is... I'd like to see him win. I mean, Clint Eastwood is a great director, too, but Martin Scorsese is this great American right, artist right, right. who has never yes. won an Oscar, and it is time. And The Aviator, I thought, was fantastic. Yes, so. yes exactly. All right. Yeah. Well, there you go. Put money on it. Okay. Uh, the Great Movies 2, this is a list of all your favorite uh, movies. And, Some uh, of them. Yeah, and favorite talk show host. Oh, yeah, there I am. And yeah, uh, there you are. Um, so, so check this out. And you know what? We always have a good time with you. Thanks for being here. You're the best. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Roger Ebert. We'll be right back. Leanne Womack's going to be here.